played you in the Powerball, not tell us. Uh, no, I did not. The good news is, though, I can play again because for two years as PR director for the Hoosier Lottery, I could not play. And it was torture when the jackpots were big, let me tell you. <laughs> it's mostly cloudy this morning. For the kiddos, as you send them off to school, the school bus forecast will be dry, though, for the start of the day today for most of our kids watching. We've seen a few spotty showers well to the north. But again, most kids going to get off on a good start. And a warmer start for all of us. Whether you're a kid or not, you got to be happy about this. Temperatures about 15 to 20 degrees warmer than where they were yesterday morning at this time. We are a milder beginning. We've got a southeast wind right now. That southeast wind at, oh, say, 5 to 10 miles per hour can put a little bit of a nip on your skin just because that that air kind of, and, and a 40-degree reading can be a little chilly. But I, I again, emphasize, it's just a better start to the day today overall. Now, there will be more clouds starting to increase and eventually more moisture as well. The water vapor satellite giving you that indication of some of that moisture starting to feed in as we speak. There's some rain off to the north of west of us. There's some rain down to the southwest of us. And it's all going to come together to bring us rain possibilities as we go into Friday and Saturday. For now, as I mentioned, kind of along that I-74 corridor, we've been getting a little feedback on the Dorset Automotive Doppler radar, indicating there could be a little light rain already out there this morning, but most everybody else going to start dry, a little sun before the clouds totally take over our skies today. Futurecast doing a nice job of showing us some of that little bit of rain this morning, but uh, as we go through the day today, an isolated shower not out of the question. Later tonight, overnight, some rain possible. Then as we get into Friday, dry to start, but more rain coming in. I think it's going to be a wet end to the week on Friday and a wet start to the weekend on Saturday. So today, we'll start off with uh, a little bit of sun. We'll see those clouds increase. We'll get some showers potentially isolated in the afternoon. More likely, though, late tonight, overnight is when we'll see more scattered rain showers. Not a bad start to tomorrow either at 51 for the overnight low. Then tomorrow, temperatures still in the 60s. Uh, some rain, especially later in the day Friday. A break in that action before more rain and maybe some thunderstorms on Saturday. That'll be the wet, wet weekend day. Sunday will be the dry weekend day, as I do think any showers would be very early and gone, and then dry for Sunday afternoon. I was going to say, though, that overnight low Monday into Tuesday, 60 degrees, it's not going to be too bad waking up on Tuesday morning. You know, mild temperatures, you got to take them while you get them. I laughed yesterday. I saw people out with, like, windows rolled down, mm -hmm. tops down on convertibles at 65. If it was late summer and 65 people would be like, I'm so cold. Yeah, I would have my park on yeah. and a Snuggie and my socks and yeah. All it, perspective for the time of the year. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much, Julie.